Hi, Joe Piprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up catechesis. You know when I get hungry at work, I can come down here to this little snack pantry to find something to nosh on. Now you know these items are called impulse items. That's because they're things that we tend to buy without giving it too much thought. We just buy on impulse. We look at it and say, ooh, that looks good. I think I'll get that. Now you know the truth is, we do many things in life on impulse, meaning that we often act without thinking about consequences, both short-term and long-term, of our actions. And if we do that consistently, we run the risk of being ruled by our desires and actions and our passions. In our spiritual lives, this can lead to us losing our balance, so to speak, as we lose our freedom to make good choices and instead give in solely to our impulses and our desires. And what we need in order to keep our balance is the virtue of temperance. Now temperance is not just the ability to say no to our desires. It's about allowing our deepest values and principles to guide our actions, lest our desires and passions become disordered. You can help your children to practice the virtue of temperance by first being honest with themselves about their desires and passions, recognizing that those desires and passions are gifts from God, and then praying for the grace to not repress those desires and passions, but to hold them in check. Desires are not bad. However, when left unchecked, they can run amok. By practicing the virtue of temperance, we can avoid becoming slaves to our own desires and passions and truly live in freedom. For Pop-Up Catechesis, this is Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless.